I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. The reading for Saturday, July 18th, is found in Psalm 86, verses 11 through 17. Teach me the way, O Lord, that I may walk in thy truth. Unite my heart to fear thy name. I give thanks to thee, O Lord, my God, with my whole heart. And I will glorify thy name forever. For great is thy steadfast love toward me, that thou hast delivered my soul from the depths of Sheol. O God, insolent men have risen up against me. A band of ruthless men sink my life, and they do not set thee before them. And they do not set thee before them. But thou, O Lord, art a God, merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. Turn to me and take pity on me. Give thy servant to thy servant. Excuse me. Give thy strength to thy servant. And save the son of thy handmaid. Show me a sign of thy favor that thou, those who hate me may see and be put to shame. Because thou, Lord, hast helped me and comforted me. The word of the Lord. Not my first rodeo. You, Lord, have helped me and comforted me. Verse 17. When I was in college, each time finals rolled around, I agonized about all the things I had to finish, lost under the weight of stress and perfectionism. I spent the first few semesters of college like this, feeling like I was barely keeping my head above water. Eventually, I realized everything would always get done because in sem semesters past, everything always got done. Between coffee and late nights, finals got finished, even when it seemed impossible. This psalm speaks of challenges, yet also of trust that God will bring the writer through. This is not the psalm, psalmist's first rodeo. There have been struggles before, and God has heard and helped. Once more, the writer calls out to God and trusts that God will show up again. As with my college finals, I now look to the past and find strength for the moment. God has, God has brought me through before. God will bring me through again, and God will hear my cries for help. Let us pray. You alone, O oh God, are worthy of our trust and attentive to our cries. Come and comfort us. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.